Hello, thank you very much for tuning in. I picked up this clip. It's only four minutes long. It's actually quite a good clip. Let's go ahead and listen, Dr. Richard Dawkins, no less, with Jordan Peterson discussing religion. Let's listen to what they've got to say. I care first and foremost about scientific truth. And so to me, it is, an, it is a scientific question whether there is a supernatural power, creative power intelligence in the universe. I think that's a, a very fascinating question. I think that if that were true, it would be the most important scientific truth if there is. That would be, it would be a fundamentally different kind of universe that we live in if there is a creative intelligence. So although I have a secondary interest in negative consequences of religion and so on, especially in Islam, um, I, I, my, my, my fundamental interest is in the scientific truth, which I believe is a scientific question, even if it can't be answered by scientific means. It, there, there either is a God or there isn't, and that, there either is a creator or not at the base of the universe, a, an, an intelligence. I think there's not. I think that intelligence is something that comes late into the universe as a consequence of a long evolutionary process. It happened here. It no doubt happened, but probably happened in other parts of the universe. Um, and do you distinguish between intelligence? Okay, just to say there, I think that was beautifully and clearly expressed. Now let's listen to Jordan Peterson. Intelligence and consciousness? Uh, for, for this purpose, no. Okay, for this purpose, no. Yes. Okay, so let, let, let me ask you this question then. Do you think that sexual selection is mediated by consciousness slash intelligence? Uh, in those species that have consciousness, yes. I mean, then, I, then I would ask you, to what degree do you think that consciousness operates as a fundamental mechanism of selection and shaping? Because uh, that, that's, oh. that's I mean, that, that is a very profoundly interesting question. And, and I mean, sexual selection happens in insects, which I do, which I do not think are conscious. And so, so um, Yeah, well, uh, that's a tough one. I mean, I know yes. butterflies can detect a deviation from symmetry in their part, that kind of, part thing, yes. of one in a million. So I there, think that's yes, it. There, there, there is se sexual selection throughout the animal kingdom. Um, and consciousness it can is happen without consciousness. I think so. Yes, yes. but but in, in but let's let's look in, at, in humans. Yes. yes, I should think so. Okay, so okay, so when I look at the at religious epistemology cross culturally, I see a bipartite structure at the bottom of the hypothesizing. There's an idea that there's a material substrate that consists of a kind of latent potential. That might be one way of looking at it. And then there's the action of a forming process on top of that. And it looks to me like it's something like, what would you call it? An intuitive apprehension of the relationship between consciousness and the rise to complexity of living forms. And the reason that I'm curious about that from an evolutionary perspective is that I can't see how sex... Forget about unconscious sexual selection for a minute. We'll just parse that off. Because maybe there are gradations of consciousness. I don't know. Insects do some damn complex things. And have you ever seen that BBC clip of the pufferfish making a sculpture? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, I think I yes. have. Yes, I, think I mean, I yes. that... Yeah, well, that's just evolution. That's just uh, a result of uh, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years even, of evolution incremental steps and so we have this puffer ship puffer fish doing this amazing thing so what that's quite something because that puffer yes. fish is... we should talk on the way to the yes. chapel okay. we can do that okay okay well <clears throat> it's very it's hard day to talk to you to penrose and you at the same day i know uh, yes um, um so so <laughs> I don't think it's completely out of the realm of question that part of the apprehension that there's a spirit that gives rise to material order is a metaphysical reflection of the idea that consciousness shapes biological being through sexual selection. But that spirit would have to have been around before evolution got started, and so you got to... Well, that, okay, f look, fair enough. It's a that's big a, thing. It's a, that, that's a, yes, that's a big problem. But I just had... A I don't really think that Peterson's response to Dawkins 
have really had much substance to it. The key, the, the key phrase he used was after he'd said, well, we've got insects that can, you know, do amazingly complex things, even if they, even if they haven't got, got consciousness in the same way that we have, there's this puffer fish that he saw in a BBC nature program that could do incredible things. And then he used the key phrase that we hear from so many Christians calling in to uh, call in shows. I don't see how we could have all this and there not be uh, a guiding spirit that was there at the start. Peterson used exactly the same language. I don't see how. Um, so because he hasn't got the imagination, because he can't work it out, uh, therefore there must have been something there at the beginning, contrary to what Dawkins is saying, that intelligence came later, the universe had simple beginnings, life had simple beginnings, intelligence eventually emerged from complex life forms, which took hundreds of millions of years to arrive. And Peterson is saying, no, there was a grand intelligence uh, right at the beginning. Because he can't see how uh, the puffer fish, for example, could have evolved to that state and we could have so much complexity in the world uh, with consciousness and intelligence that there must have been an intelligence to that started it all off, simply because he can't see how. It's a classical... Um, argument from incredulity or argument from ignorance and can be dismissed effectively. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.